oh, you caught me watching the first Dr. Capacitor video. You do remember episode one where I explained the different dielectrics? Ah, this is the part I wanted to see again. Thin films. Nitschkan has been manufacturing thin film capacitors for years. But today, we want to introduce you to my friends from Italy. They produce a different kind of film capacitor. And Nitschkan America is their exclusive sales channel in the Americas. I got it. Let's take a road trip. So grab your stuff and we're off to Castellanza, Italy. Benvenuti Milano, Italia. Ah, look at that. Oh, look at that too. Mm, beautiful. Today, we are visiting our friends and partners at ESEL. We want to learn more about some of those important things about Eichel. Ciao, Dr. Capacitor. Benvenuto in Eichel. Come stai oggi? Sei pronto a cominciare? Hello, Lorenzo. To start things off, no one in America can pronounce the company name right. How do you pronounce it and give us the inside scoop on what it means? Okay, Doc. So, the pronunciation of Eichel is in the Italian way. Just read how it's written. Mm -hmm. ICEL, it is the acronym of Industria Componenti Elettronici, which means Electronic Components Industry. ICEL was founded by Alberto Mele in 1960, and it is still a family-owned company, run by the Mele family. No wonder my daughter wants to marry Lorenzo. Vabbè, Doc, what to say? Just move on with the presentation. ICEL started as a small manual assembly manufacturer and transformed itself into a high technology, high quality, fully automated manufacturer of the best in class plastic film capacitors. Now, I know we're in a beautiful part of northern Italy, but is this the only place ICEL makes parts? Actually, Doc, this is a very good question. ICEL's only factory is located right here in Castellanza, about 15.5 miles far from Milano International Airport of Malpensa. The plant covers over 86,000 square feet. We produce plastic thin capacitors that are 100% made in Italy. We do all of the design, manufacturing and testing right here. I noticed in your presentation and on the website that you only use PE and PP film. Can you tell me why? Yes, we manufacture professional plastic thin capacitors, mainly for power applications. The dielectrics used are polyester, PE, and polypropylene, PP. We have an excellent R&D department that is always looking for new materials. Of course, there are other dielectrics available. These are typically used for niche applications, but Ichel has developed and grown over the years by specializing and focusing on well-targeted technologies, especially in power applications. Okay, what's a power film capacitor? A power film capacitor is a type of electrical capacitor with an insulating plastic film as the dielectric. It is able to handle complex stresses in voltage, current, frequency, energy and temperature, thanks to its crucial characteristics. Power film capacitors are used in equipment and installation which are operated at high power. They are used to convert and control this power. You mentioned ETRIL uses only PP or polypropylene in your power film capacitor. I assume you have a good reason for this. Can you explain it to us? Yeah, sure. 
The polypropylene film guarantees better stability and capability to effectively handle the complex stresses required in power capacitor with much lower dissipation. Okay, you want harder? Try this. What is metallization and why do you use so many different styles? Metallization is mounting the electrons of the capacitor directly onto the surface of the plastic film through a vacuum deposition process. The shape and thickness of the metallization and the material used give the capacitor different cap characteristics to meet a variety of applications. The outstanding advantage of metallized film capacitor technology is the self-healing property. It is the ability of a metallized capacitor to clear a defect area by an electrical arc that extinguishes when enough metal of the electrodes is vaporized around this point. The defect is then insulated and the capacitor almost instantaneously regains its full operation ability. Why don't you make just one type of lead style? I see leaded, axial, and even lungs. Who knows what else you make? Radial and axial lead styles are for board mounting. Lug styles were invented to minimize the self-inductance of the capacitor, allowing them to mount directly to the active power modules, such as IGBTs and boost bars. So what are the advantages of each termination? Uh, radial leaded parts can be mounted to circuit boards and have multiple lead options to increase the power handling capability. Axial parts, like radial parts, can be mounted onto the circuit boards. They are lower in height, allowing them to be used in an application where height is limited. Lag styles allow the capacitors to be mounted directly onto power semiconductors, minimizing the inductance. The lags also allow the capacitor to have the highest current carrying capabilities. Well, my friends, it's time for me to go back to Chicago. Thank you for the tour of each out. Nichikai is looking forward to our partnership. So I'll see you back in Chicago. And don't forget the name, Dr. Capacitor.